Hi, I'm Dan Fleisch, and I'm a Professor Emeritus of Physics at Wittenberg University and Director of Weaver Observatory. In this video, I'm going to talk about a topic that's been in the news a lot in the last few months. That topic is the comet called 3I Atlas, also known as C2025N1, and there are two important things that I think you should understand about this object. Number one, it's a comet. And number two, this comet has some unusual characteristics, but it's no danger to Earth, and it's definitely not a spaceship full of aliens. I say that this object is a comet with emphasis, because there's been some speculation about the true nature of this 3i Atlas object, which I'll talk about after explaining why I'm so confident that it is a comet. And I'll also describe some of the things we may be able to learn by studying this unusual object. So what exactly is a comet? It's a small solar system body composed mostly of ice and dust that ejects particles from its surface as it gets closer to the sun and warms up. Those particles form a type of atmosphere called a coma around the small rocky core or nucleus of the comet, and often that atmosphere spreads out into a long tail as it interacts with the sun's radiation and the solar wind, which is a stream of energetic particles flowing away from the sun. So although the nucleus of the comet is typically only several hundred meters to a few kilometers in diameter, the coma surrounding it may have a diameter of thousands of kilometers, so bigger than Earth. And the Oort cloud may contain over a trillion, that is, a thousand billion comets. So why do we see comets if they're so far away? Because every once in a while, the gravitational pull from other stars in our Milky Way galaxy or a collision between objects can send a comet inward toward the Sun. And that's when comets can grow a coma and a tail and become visible to us. As they travel through the solar system, their paths are bent by the sun's gravity into either an ellipse, making them periodic because they return again and again, or into a hyperbola, in which case they can fly through the solar system and head out into interstellar space, never to return. That brings us to the unusual comet called 3I Atlas. The I in its name stands for interstellar, because this comet did not come from the Oort cloud or from anywhere else in our solar system. It came from far beyond, probably when another star, not the Sun, was formed some seven billion years ago. The way we know that this comet is interstellar is by analyzing its motion. It's going way too fast for the Sun's gravity to capture it. So it's just going to fly through our solar system and continue on its journey through interstellar space. This is only the third interstellar object of this type that astronomers have ever seen. The first was called 1i Oumuamua, and the second was called 2i Borisov. So the three in the name 3i Atlas means it's the third interstellar object we've seen traveling through our solar system. And Atlas is the name of the telescope network that found it. The next one will be called 4i something, and then we can expect to see 5i and 6i and lots more of these because the telescope, camera, and computing technology for finding such things is getting better and better. And why am I so sure this is a comet? Because everything about it is either exactly what we've seen in other comets or a natural variation of those things. 3i Atlas has a comet's nucleus, it has a comet's coma, and it has a comet's tail. It's traveling on a hyperbolic path, and it's made of the same elements that we've detected in other comets that formed in our solar system, or that we know are present in other stellar systems. Importantly, a very careful and thorough search for any kind of technosignature, that is, any non-natural electromagnetic radiation coming from this object, has found exactly zero. So, 3i Atlas has all the characteristics that planetary astronomers expect a comet to have, and none of the characteristics that a spaceship is likely to have. Put simply, there is abundant, specific, scientific evidence based on actual data that this is a comet, and there's not a shred of evidence that 3i Atlas is some type of alien spaceship. 
But I did say the Comet 3i Atlas is unusual. So what's so unusual about it? Several things. As I mentioned, this comet didn't come from our solar system, and it's only the third one of those we've seen. So that makes it unusual right there. Also interesting is the fact that this comet is traveling on a path not far from the plane of our solar system, which is the almost flat plane that Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and the other planets travel in. That means that 3i Atlas will pass by some planets as it travels through our system. But what does pass by mean? Well, the closest 3i Atlas ever got to Earth was about 170 million miles, so almost twice as far from the Earth as the Sun. And now it's heading away. Closest approach to Mars was about 18 million miles, and closest approach to Jupiter will be about 33 million miles in early 2026. So if this is a spacecraft, sent to study the planets of our solar system, it's being driven by idiots. Another interesting characteristic of this comet is its interaction with solar radiation and the solar wind. That interaction affects the comet's color and its brightness, and collecting data as it changes over time will give astronomers some insight into the comet's chemistry and its rotational dynamics as it tumbles through space. So there's a lot that's interesting here, and planetary astronomers are excited because a sample of material from another star system has the potential to teach us a great deal about the conditions out there beyond our solar system. That will certainly help us understand the processes by which the planets, moons, and smaller bodies in our solar system formed, and ultimately, it may help us answer the really big questions about the origin of life in the universe. That's tremendously exciting, and for me, that's enough. It's more than enough. So I think it's quite unfortunate that the focus in so many of the news accounts and online discussions about 3i Atlas has been about the overwhelmingly unlikely possibility that this is an alien spaceship instead of an interesting comet. And if you see someone on the news saying that planetary astronomers are dismissing this because they're closed-minded or afraid to consider the possibility of the existence of alien civilizations, I can tell you from personal experience that the opposite is true. The astronomers I know are incredibly receptive to new ideas, and many are actively working on the issues of life in the universe. And they base their conclusions on the evidence they uncover in their research, not on sensational speculation that sells books and gets you on TV, radio, and podcasts. So that's my two cents worth. If you'd like to talk more about the details of this or any other astronomical topic, feel free to send me an email at dfleisch at wittenberg.edu. And if you'd like to do some research on your own about 3i Atlas or other comets or extraterrestrial civilizations, a great place to start is on the NASA website, nasa.gov. That's at https science.nasa.gov solar system comets 3i Atlas. I really appreciate your interest and thanks very much for your time.